Hey guys, it's Clara. Welcome back to my channel. This video is our meal plan for the week, but first a Kroger haul. I just had a cup of coffee, but I don't think I ate enough this morning because I am super shaky. So my apologies if this is more shaky than usual. I already have kind of like a fine tremor in my hands. If you're new to my channel, I typically buy stuff that is on sale. Every now and then I will try some new things and I try to tell you the coupons that I have at the moment. A lot of coupons I use are digital linked with the Kroger card or they are sent to me in the mail from Kroger. That's one of the things I love about the Kroger program is that it reads what you buy and essentially they send you coupons geared towards your purchases usually. So enough of that, let's get started with the haul. I bought another one of the broccoli crowns. Unfortunately, they were not on sale this week. So this big, huge thing was $2.69. The mushrooms were $1.99 each, and I bought another bag of oranges. I still have some left over from last week. This one is a little bit different though. It's the Bee Sweet Citrus. I don't know if it's gonna taste any differently, but... I like trying different kinds of oranges. They had this one orange that was like a blood red orange. Oh my gosh, it was so delicious, but I am not seeing them in the stores anymore. And I always like to check out the reduced produce section. They had a bunch of bananas and pears that did not look so great, unfortunately, but I was happy to find some avocado that is just ripe enough. It's not too ripe which is perfect. And the nectarines were on sale for 99 cents. I bought some bananas, I get that every week pretty much. And the acorn squash was still on sale for something like 69 cents a pound. The Frank's Red Hot was on sale for two something. The kale was $2.99. For meat this week, I bought salmon. This one was on special for $9.65. So we'll be eating that fairly soon. And the Simple Truth Organic chicken free to roam outdoors was $14, but this will actually be split between three different meals. The chicken broth was on sale two for a dollar. The graham crackers were a dollar 49. And this was the free Friday item, I believe two weeks ago. I just hadn't picked it up yet. So finally got it. It's the Bush's hummus made easy and you just add garbanzo beans. Sometimes I'll use um, cannellini beans or northern white beans. That seems to work pretty well too. And one of the new items for this week is this Sustainable Seas Solid Albacore Tuna. It is pole and troll caught, um, which of course is a lot better for the environment. This was $2.40 or $2.60, so it definitely is more than your typical tuna, but I'll give it a try and probably wait for it to go on sale if it's pretty good. Also bought a thing of Yoplait yogurt, an eight pack of strawberry and strawberry banana for the hubs. And the Duncan Hines were on sale. I plan to bake my daughter's birthday cake in a few weeks, so I thought I'd take advantage of the sale. Sometimes they have these items at Dollar Tree, but my Dollar Tree is not consistent when it comes to baking items. Sometimes they'll have these, sometimes not. The actual cake itself is a dollar a box, so that's great. And the frosting itself is the cream cheese frosting, which unfortunately I've never seen at Dollar Tree anyway. And these were two for three dollars. A new item to us that I believe we've never tried is the Kroger brand of the multigrain sandwich slims. This was on special for 89 cents. I'll be using this along with the tuna fish. And I had two coupons that were mailed to me by Kroger for 40 cents off a bag of the tortilla chips. So these were on sale. They ended up being something like 80 cents each with the coupon. A kind of a splurge item, and this is not gonna seem like too much of a splurge, is the Kroger Honey Nut Toasted Oats. This is a dupe for Cheerios. Usually my price point for cereal is a dollar to a dollar 30 a box, but this was a dollar 88. I know, not too much more than my price point. And another food item of the week. This one I actually picked up at Michael's. I had the 50% off coupon. I'll be using this with my daughter's cake 
in a few weeks for her birthday. This is the Wilton fondant. I have worked with fondant before. It's actually a lot easier than one would think. This one though is a pretty large container. And I discovered in the baking aisle that Kroger does carry the Wilton fondant, but for half of the size of this box, it ends up being $7.50, something like that at Kroger. At Michael's with the 50% off coupon, this ended up being $12. So the Michael's deal ended up being better than Kroger. All right, guys, meal plan for the week consists of chicken casserole with red pepper and yellow squash for tonight. I might throw in some of those kale greens as well in that casserole, we'll see. And then Monday and Tuesday will be the same meal. It'll be some of the leftover butternut squash from last week with some kale greens and some seared chicken breast. Wednesday will be salmon and sweet potatoes. I might throw in broccoli with that as well. Thursday will be acorn squash again with a green salad with figs. And I can't believe I went all summer without eating any gazpacho. It's such an easy thing to make and it's so refreshing. So of course I'm gonna have it even though it's fall. So Friday we'll be having shrimp gazpacho and Saturday will be pizza. So that is it for this meal plan for this week. As always, please tell me if you are trying anything new this week. If you have any recipe recommendations, I would love to hear it, especially stuff that has to do with squash or cloves or cinnamon. I just love this time of year. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care.